Clock in, clock in. Black guy that just walked in. Dead, it ain't no need to check his vitals, bitch. Yeah. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his vitals, bitch. Yeah. He already dead, it ain't no need to check his vitals. Team Black got a stand up, man. Yeah. Yeah, I've been seeing these little very interesting videos, bro. And, um, you know, I'm one of those people who don't put nothing past anything, anybody, anyone. There's stuff that's out here that we don't know about, bro. Like, and if you believe that there's not, you are a complete idiot. Just look at it like this. If you owned a business, you feel me? And there were secrets about your business, that. You feel like only you should know, but everybody working within your business shouldn't know nothing about that. That's the same thing with the world, my nigga. Like, it's people controlling the world that keep certain things under the rug just cause we don't need everybody to know and it could be for the safety of everybody and it also could be for the advantage of them. You feel me? There's a lot of stuff I could talk about that pertains to this exact, you know, uh, topic. But you get what I mean, you feel me? If you don't get what I mean, it ain't meant for you to get what I mean. But let's watch this video, bro. 25 terrifying secrets is that I ain't ever seen before. Uh, hopefully, I don't see one of your little brothers in here. Now, I'm talking about hopefully I don't see your little cousin. Hopefully, nobody you know is it, the sea creature they talking about. Factsverse presents 25 terrifying sea creatures. Number one, the goblin shark. Since only a few of these deep sea sharks have been caught by fishing boats, not much is known about them. It has a prominent snout and a retractable jaw. Its razor sharp teeth are enough to send even the strongest person swimming for land. Ain't that the same shark from, from Finding Nemo? Is, is that the shark? Or am I tweaking? Number two, the dragonfish. All Nigga, isn't that a piranha? What? That's a dragon fit. That's a piranha. Um. Yeah, the dragonfish about. is found over a mile below sea level. It starts its life on top of the water as an egg. As it gets older, it descends to the depths of the sea. As an adult, it's able to produce its own light, which is known as bioluminescence. One of its lights is found on a barbell attached to its jaw. Its razor-sharp teeth make it a very frightening creature. Number three, the frilled shark. This is a shark that is rarely seen and lives in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Scientists believe that when this shark stalks its prey, it bends its body like a snake. When it's close enough, it swallows its victim whole. Th Nigga, ain't that a snake fish? Are you talking about uh, stingray something? Humans are not close enough in the water That's to become its prey. Uncle. Number four, the vampire squid. Nigga, that's just a squid. That got ADHD and, and he's schizophrenic, probably a little piece. Ain't nothing. Don't do that, boy. You feel me? He just got defects. Well, that's a regular squid. This sea creature has the largest eyes of any animal in the world, proportionally speaking. This creature lives in the depths of the deep sea. Many people think that it gets its name because it sucks blood with its tentacles, but this is false. The tentacles are actually rather weak. It actually gets its name from its red eyes and its cloak-like webbing. It is a very scary looking creature. Number five, the big red jellyfish. This huge jellyfish can grow to be over three feet in length. Nigga, that's just an obese jellyfish. He just eat too much. Nigga, really? It's slightly red, which is where the name came from. Rather than using tentacles like most jellyfish have, this type uses fleshy feeding arms to capture its prey. Number six, the giant squid. The giant squid was just a legend for a long time because it was rarely ever seen by humans. It lives deep below the waves and its only predator is the sperm whale. The two are famous for their deadly fights beneath the sea and their carcasses can often be found bearing the marks of the battle. This is a creature that you would not want to run into underwater. 
Number seven, the blobfish. This fish lives deep in the waters of Australia and New Zealand and lives almost 4,000 feet below sea level. Because the pressure at these depths is much higher than near the surface, the blob's fish body is a gelatinous mass. Since humans cannot get that far under the sea, you won't need to worry about running into this one. Number 8. The Coffin Fish This fish looks like a pink, spine-covered balloon. Its appearance makes it seem to be the cross between a puffer fish and an angler fish. They hunt deep below the sea, and they catch their prey using a fleshy protrusion the same way that an angler fish does. When they feel threatened, they are capable of puffing themselves up to scare away their enemies, the same way that a puffer fish can. Number 9. The Giant Isopod This creature is permanently stuck to the bottom of the ocean. At no time are they able to swim to the surface. It lives in the cold, dark waters of the Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Circle. It resembles a crab, but is much larger in size. Since it doesn't float to the surface, you won't need to worry about running into one if you're swimming in the ocean. Number 10. Stargazer This is a very creepy-looking creature. It gets its name because its eyes and mouth are located on top of its head. It buries itself in the sand, and it pops up to attack its prey when it swims by. Some species of the stargazer are electric, and they can deliver lethal shocks to their prey and predators. Number 11. The Chimera This creature should not be confused with the Chimera of Greek mythology, and they're also known as sharks. While these creatures used to be found all over the ocean, today they are mostly confined to deep water. They have the body of a shark and the mouth of a crocodile. Luckily, they no longer come to the surface. Number 12. The Amphipod these tiny crustaceans are no longer than an inch, and they live deep in the Pacific Ocean and close to four miles beneath the waves. There are some amphipods, however, that can grow a foot in length. They're a very creepy creature and are the cross between a lobster and a cockroach. Number 13. The Pacific Black Dragon This creature got its name for a reason. Since most of its prey is bioluminescent, its stomach is designed to prevent light from radiating through. It can easily sneak up on its prey without them even knowing. It actually looks like a black garden snake. If you hate snakes, you'll want to steer clear of this creature. Number 14. The Dumbo Octopus This octopus got his name from the elephant in the Disney movie, Dumbo. It's not quite as terrifying as the frilled shark, however, it is so strange-looking it deserves a spot on our list. Number 15. The Anglerfish oh, This seen. fish looks like something out of a science fiction movie. Man, it was in the this cartoon. fish got its name for the way that it hunts. It uses a fleshy protrusion that comes out the top of its head as a lure. What the hell? This fish is born with a light bulb on the top of his dome. Like he can see everywhere he's going. Track its prey. Once they're close enough, it will use its razor sharp teeth to eat the unlucky creature. Number 16. The Gulper Eel. This eel is also known as the Pelican Eel and is one of the strangest and scariest looking creatures in the deep sea. Its mouth is huge, making it possible for it to swallow prey that is much larger than itself. Its razor-sharp teeth also allow it to chew its food if necessary. Number 17. The Snaggletooth This is by far one of the ugliest creatures on our list. So that's where they get you Snaggletooth from. You feel me? Teeth on teeth. Yuck. That's why the fish name is Snaggletooth. Boy, you dead, dead, damn. Dennis can't even want to fish that. Its razor-sharp teeth are jagged and uneven, making it look very threatening. It can produce its own light, which makes it very easy to hunt its prey. Number 18. The Hatchetfish This fish should not be confused with the hatchetfish that can be found in many aquariums and are freshwater fish. This deep-sea saltwater fish was named for its distinctive hatchet-shaped body. Its eyes are located on top of its head, which allows it to catch food that falls from above. It is only found in the great depths of the ocean, 
Therefore, you won't need to worry about running into one of these frightening creatures. Number 19. The Barrel Eye These odd-looking creatures are similar to the hatchet fish, as they have eyes on top of their heads to catch their prey. What makes them so unique is the transparent dome on top of their head that encases and protects their eyes. Number 20. The Grenadier This is a bottom-dwelling fish, and they are very abundant, as they make up about 15% of the deep-sea population. They are found at depths of almost 4 miles. There are very few creatures that can survive in such a deep, hostile environment. Its razor-sharp teeth make it a force to be reckoned with. Number 21. The Blue-Ringed Octopus At first glance, this octopus doesn't look scary. It's actually quite pretty, in fact. However, looks can be deceiving. It's actually one of the most dangerous creatures in the ocean. Its venom is extremely potent. Since there is no anti-venom, you want to steer clear of this creature. Number 22. The Megamouth Shark This species of deep-water shark was discovered in 1976 and has rarely ever been seen by humans. Because it is rarely seen, there is really no scientific facts about this creature. Its distinctive feature is its gaping mouth, which can swallow its prey whole. Number 23. The Viper Fish During the day, this fish stays in the deep water. At night, it travels to the surface and has been found in the nets of deep-sea fishermen. Since they cannot survive in captivity, not much is known about them, except that they are very scary-looking. Just their razor-sharp teeth are enough to make anyone run away screaming. Number 24. The Black Swallower This fish is also known as the Great Swallower. What makes this creature so scary yeah, is its yeah. ability to consume and digest. This relatively small creature can eat and digest prey that is over 10 times its size. Number 25. Gigantic Sunfish Stretch his stomach A group of scuba divers was in the water taking photos when they happened upon this gigantic sunfish. The fish can grow up to 9 feet long and can weigh over 5,000 pounds. The sunfish that the divers came across was large enough to easily inhale a grown man. Luckily for the men, this type of fish does not eat humans. Just the sheer size of this fish alone is enough to make a person swim in the other direction if they were to happen upon it. So, Honestly, I ain't know none of these uh, stuff existed, you know? I just be like, damn, that's that's the squid cousin. Oh, oh, that's the red snapper auntie. You feel me? She just got an eye disorder. I just be thinking it's like, damn, like, you feel me? They got little issues, but who knows? Those could be completely different creatures you know what I'm talking about but hey whoever is educated on this type of stuff and seen some of these creatures before let me know in the comments below because I ain't seen none of them you feel me I'm about knowing that clock out clock out black got it just walked out